All right, so former Marine General John Kelly, Donald Trump's longest serving White House Chief of Staff, has warned that if elected again, his former boss would govern like a dictator, lack empathy, and have no understanding of the U.S. Constitution. Now, other Trump administration officials have criticized the convicted felon, but Kelly may just be the most high profile so far. In an interview published by the New York Times, he had grave concerns about Trump's fitness for office. Let's take a listen. When he said to you that Hitler did a lot of good things. Well, I tell him that. I said, you know, sir, if you, first of all, you should never say that. <laughs> but if you knew what history, Hitler was all about from the beginning to the end, uh, everything he did was in support of his racist, fascist uh, life, you know, the, you know, philosophy, so that nothing he did you could argue was good. It was certainly not done for the right reason. And, um, but he would occasionally say that. What would he say when you would lay that out to him? Uh, he just, you know, that would be the end of the conversation usually. Do you, what do you think? Do you think he's a fascist? Well, I'm looking at the definition of fascism. <laughs> Uh, it's a far-right, authoritarian, ultranationalist political ideology and movement characterized by a dictatorial leader, centralized hypocrisy, militarism, forcible suppression of opposition, belief in a natural social hierarchy. Um, so certainly, in my experience, uh, those are the kinds of things that he thinks uh, would we'll, we'll work better in terms of running America. You know, again, back to this issue of, uh, you know, democracy is, uh, is, is, is complicated, uh, messy to operate, probably the worst kind of government there is, except for all the other ones. I think uh, Churchill once said that. Um, and, and again, our Constitution, our founders built in to the Constitution and to the way our government operates, built in a lot of checks and balances and was didn't design the government to be streamlined and, and whatnot. So, but, but certainly uh, the former president uh, is in the far right area. He's certainly an authoritarian, um, uh, admires people who are dictators. Uh, he has said that. Um, so he fall, certainly falls into the, into the general definition of, of uh, fascist, for sure. He basically said to you that those who died for America on the battlefield were losers and suckers, and he said it more than once. Yes, uh, but, he would die, not, but he would say it would always, that something else would get him going off at times again and again. He never could wrap his arms around why people would serve uh, the country in uniform. What was in it for them? That was the general theme. And here is what Vice President Kamala Harris had to say about General Kelly's comments. Who will be loyal to him personally. One that will obey his orders even when he tells them to break the law or abandon their oath to the Constitution of the United States. In just the past week, Donald Trump has repeatedly called his fellow Americans the enemy from within, and even said that he would use the United States military to go after American citizens. And let's be clear about who he considers to be the enemy from within. Anyone who refuses to bend a knee or dares to criticize him would qualify, in his mind, as the enemy within like judges, like journalists, like nonpartisan election officials. It is deeply troubling and incredibly dangerous that Donald Trump would invoke Adolf Hitler, the man who is responsible for the deaths of six million Jews and hundreds of thousands of Americans. All of this is further evidence for the American people of who Donald Trump really is. This is a window into who Donald Trump really is from the people who know him best, 
from the people who worked with him side by side in the Oval Office and in the Situation Room. And it is clear from John Kelly's words that Donald Trump is someone who I quote, certainly falls into the general definition of fascist, who in fact vowed to be a dictator on day one and vowed to use the military as his personal militia to carry out his personal and political vendettas. Donald Trump is increasingly unhinged and unstable. And in a second term, people like John Kelly would not be there to be the guardrails against his propensities and his actions. Those who once tried to stop him from pursuing his worst impulses would no longer be there and no longer be there to rein him in. So the bottom line is this. We know what Donald Trump wants. He wants unchecked power. The question in 13 days will be, what do the American people want? Florida homeowners, did you know that right now you can get a brand new